what's up guys back in for another video today we are reviewing lego harry potter escape from privet drive from 2002 so let's get started for our first minifig we are going to take a look at harry potter a noticeable difference is from the newer harry potters because if you take a look at a newer harry potter he is, of course, tan, or like a skin, more like a Caucasian kind of color. But back in 2001 and 2002, he had yellow skin, which was a kind of weird thing. It looked weird. Um, I, I think it's kind of funny still. His wand is also different than from 2002. Now they come on a sprue. He has no leg printing or arm printing. Very simplistic minifig because he is vintage. No back torso printing. Uh, if you pop off his hair, you can see that's his old hair piece. You can see his scar right here. And his glasses and his little mouth. And if you spin him around... He has no double-sided facial expression, which is kind of unfortunate. But, yeah. Now for the next minifig. One of the other minifigs included in the set is Ron Weasley. He has this nice collar to his shirt right here. And... He, that's a really nice print. No arm printing or leg printing or back of his torso printing. Um, he has a, a nice face print, even though it doesn't really look like Rupert Grint, his actor. If you turn him around, also no face print, which is kind of unfortunate. But it is a pretty cool minifig overall. And if you put his nice hairpiece on, really cool. Now for the set. That's the, this is the car, which is quite a cool build. It's got a, two doors, which can open on either side and close. And if you pop off the roof, you can put in two minifigs, one on either side, and the steering wheel is on the right, as is supposed to be. Which is quite good. Um, if you look at the back, you can lift up the trunk, and there is a tow rope, which looks very good. The front has chrome on it, which is quite cool. Now they would have just used like the pearl kind of silver. Really cool build overall. Quite detailed for 2002. Quite impressive for that era. For the house, it's a pretty simplistic build. You have some plants right here. The four for their address. And these two nice like gray printed pieces oh another note i am missing one of the mayfigs to the set vernon dursley um you know this is his house another note this is dark bluish gray it should be dark gray same with this piece but the rest is proper colors i believe the play feature here i'm just lifting this and, I don't know. The play feature is you'd have Harry in the window and then you'd have the Ron and Fred and George come up with the tow rope, even though Fred and George aren't included in the set. They would hook on... Just wait. <clears throat> they would hook on to the window. Just like that. 
and pull it and pull it out. The way that works is the window has this clip on and then that kind of goes in and that works like that. The window is quite simple. You can open it too. This has an opening door and this can be swiveled around so you can kind of change the house's look. If you turn it around you have the staircase right here and Harry's bed under the stairs and then kind of a little kitchen back here and a stove. Very simplistic. Some little stuff like a spider here and a letter and some Nice books. And then we're up here. This is a cool feature. So you can take these two envelopes and stick them up here which is quite cool and then you can turn them around push them and they fall and make it rain letters like in the movie which is quite cool the letters are quite cool too. It's a pretty simple set overall. Um, this can be ratcheted to kind of configure it. There are some alternate builds. Really like the orange that they used for the house. Looks really clean. Overall, this is a good set. It also does include a cape and headwig for Harry. Headwig has no print, unlike this is the new one on the left and the old one on the right. The new one's much better, but it's good for its time. Anyways, that's all for a set. Tune in next time to see another awesome video. Bye!